Hey, how nice of you to keep watching these videos. Yes, adventure game adverts, that's what it's all about. So, starting off with C for Cadaver. And... Call of Thulu Dark Corners of the Earth. This was probably one of the creepiest experiences I ever had playing a game. Also, this game is just not very scary and everything, but also the... How many times this 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 game just you know just froze on me? It's it's unbelievable. But um, a very cool game, Flyer. I don't know exactly where it was from, but um, happy to have this one. Then Callahan's Cross Time Saloon. It was one of those legend games which I, I think I played one of these episodes, and uh, and liked it, but I never managed to get to play the others. Seville, 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 or something like that. Another sort of comical three third person adventure game. This is Choose Your Own Nightmare. I'm not sure if they're actually adventure games or just sort of interactive movies. But Chronicles of the Sword definitely is an adventure game. Third person, sort of medieval times, fantasy. I like this one. Comes on two pages. Yeah, more King Arthur stuff. Then we've got Chrono Master. But, uh, played this game, but could never really get into it. I think the concept was quite unique. Yeah, that's the concept there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we get it. Yeah. This one, I believe, is from the Dutch magazine. And another single page advert. And another one, some small differences like screenshots added and then we have Chrono Quests, which is a very old game. Never played this really, but um back in the text adventure games with uh I do believe this one had some sort of menu but with pictures. It's Chrono Quest 2. City to Thousand. Also quite hard to get by. I'm not sure if they actually made the sequel. Um, something Sydney 2000 or something 2000 Tokyo or whatever. But um, yeah, if you have that game, make some money. City of Lost Children. I like the film. It was quite extravagant, but um, the game I could never really get into. And Destiny from Trilobite. Uh, oh, oh, this is how it goes. Do not turn the page until you have solved this riddle. Uh, yeah, riddle, riddle, riddle. You can't cheat when you played Clandestiny. So these are just side page adverts uh, opposed to the full page ones. Uh, this is. Clock Tower 3. Yeah, it's for the PlayStation. Never played it. Club Dead from MTV. Is another one of those garbage? I don't know. Commander Blood. That is not garbage. Because dead aliens tell no tales. That is common knowledge. Companions of Zen. Yes, the CD-ROM one, featuring voices over 30 characters. Love the Legend games, they are they're quite good. Congo, Descent into Zinj. I like the novel, I like the film, and I like the game. Too bad I never managed to complete it, as there is a portion somewhere with a locked door and some stones and some monkeys. 
which I couldn't get my head around. But this is uh, the Cameron Files. I believe this is two Pharaoh's Curse. Not much of an advert, but um, connections and a Discovery Channel multimedia game with uh, stuff from history and stuff, how things work. I can't remember anything about it, but I did play it and I probably enjoyed it at the time. Okay, now we have KGB, but um, the original one is Conspiracy with Donald Sutherland. That was the European release. And uh, in the States they call it KGB for obvious reasons. Or maybe not so obvious. But I never really got into these kind of games. Too political. Cosmic Space Head. This is um, actually some sort of hybrid between like platform, adventure and um, arcade. Very hard to find for the PC. Uh, another access game, Countdown. Never managed to play it actually, but uh, yeah, it's one of those games on the list, you know, a never ending list of games to play. Uh, this is uh, the rules are simple. Everything's out to get you. Creature Shock is not really an adventure game, but managed to play this one and yeah, enjoyed it to a certain extent. Um, Psychotic Killers, this is a Critical Path. Never played it. But uh, full motion video, that was the thing at the time. Cruise for a Corpse. I think if you played it in the day, it probably was very good. But uh, I attempted to play this uh, game recently, but uh, wow, was it dull. But it looks cool, doesn't it? Crystal Key, uh, taken from probably catalog, Curse of Atlantis, same thing. Too bad magazines at the time didn't pay any attention anymore to adventure games, but uh, back in the day you had adverts like this, Curse of Enchantia, core design. Great game. Siberia, coming 12-1-1994. One of those hybrid games, you know, simulation shooting, walking around, doing stuff. But I never did play it. A couple of side adverts. Uh, don't turn this page if you're scared of reality. Well, that's it then. Oh no, there's more. Is it real or is it a game? Siberia. Wow, this is wow, this is scary. Some bloke with a chest. Yeah. More Siberia adverts. They did put some effort into these uh, advertising campaigns. This is Siberia 2, The Resurrection. And uh, more violence. Obviously, they don't want your brain, they want your blood. Oh, oh, oh. And we play these games. Huh? Well, not this one. But I did play this one, Cyber War, which is the uh, sequel to uh, The Lawnmower Man. And um, it sucks, but The Lawnmower Man was kind of cool. Now, nah, the music actually is good. The bonus audio soundtrack CD is probably the best thing in the whole game. Anyway, this was C. Uh, we got a couple more letters to go, and uh, I, 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 I hope you will, you know, stay with me. But, um, you know, I can also understand if you say, well, you know, this is just not interesting. But we'll see. Bye.